This is an interview with Mr. John Frazier, the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute's Oral History Project. I'm Dr. Horace Huntley. We're at the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute. Today is January 24th, 1997. Mr. Frazier, I want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule to come and talk with me today about Birmingham and the movement. Just want to start by asking you about your family. Uh, you were born in Pale City. Pale City. W were your parents from Pale City? Were they from that area? Well, they were from that area. My mother was uh, uh, Lincoln, and my dad was uh, Russian Spring. Okay. They did, did different because when she came to Birmingham, that's when they met. Oh, I see. Yeah. So that's. So they met here yeah. in Birmingham. Okay. Um, now, how many brothers and sisters did you have? I had two brothers and uh, three sisters. Uh, and where did you fit in into that? Were you the baby? Well, if that's the truth, I was the baby boy. Is that right? Oh, okay. Um, were there girls younger than you, or were you just the baby? Uh, of all the the girl was younger and older than me. Oh, okay. So everybody was older. So you were the baby. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you must have been small then. Well, I was very small. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Um, tell me about your your parents. What uh, level of education did they did they acquire? Well, my daddy, he, he, he always seemed to be like he finished out uh, high school. Mm -hmm. hey, I don't know what he did or not because I can't remember. Mm -hmm. But my mother, um, she, I think she just went to grammar school, you know, and then uh -huh. she, you know, and the different little jobs and things. Right. She worked, uh, did she work outside of the home? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what I'm okay. What did she do? She was a, uh, what you call it, a domestic? Domestic, yeah. right, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, your father, what kind of work did he do? He was a uh, uh, James B. Clyde, so that was a, uh, uh, that was a, not a, like a stock of bad day. It's, it's sort of like a, well, they made pipes and, Oh, I see. Uh -huh. It was a company. Right. Terry Klein's son in Terrence City. In Terrence City, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was that the area that you grew up in? I, I, well, I grew up in Terrence City. In Terrence City. Yes, you did. Okay. I grew up there. Um, what school did you start first grade? Uh, uh, Terrence Junior High. I think yeah. it's yeah, Terrence Grammar School. Grammar School. Grammar School. Grammar School. Grammar. Okay. What do you remember about? Do you remember your your, your grammar school days? Yes, Lord. Uh, <laughs> I was a, uh, I was you know. When I started uh, uh, the grammar school, right, the teacher she didn't look right, and she looked like she was mad all the time. And I tell Mama, uh, Mama, I guess I just don't want to go. Uh, mm -hmm. She's mean, and uh, she was like, "You going? You going?" And so she talked. She told her. Um, uh, Miss Edith, that was her name, mm -hmm. my teacher, and she, she said, well, she said, well, this, 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 she said, Miss Frazier, let me wait with her, don't you worry about a thing. Mm -hmm. And she said, uh, you told on me, you know, that's a different thing. You know? mm -hmm. I said, I, I, I said, that. she said, wait, well, you know, I'm going to show you just how tough I am. If you don't do right, I'm going to show up be tough. You know, wait, this, right. different thing, you know. Right. And she said, no, but if you be good, um, then you're going to be all right, she you got apple or something like that. And I said, Mom, she's getting for you, she's good. No, <laughs> oh, yeah. So it helped for you to go home and try right. 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 And we got along fine then. That's all right. Now you you had brothers and sisters in that school at the same time that you were there, right? No, my brother, uh, he went to uh we went to different uh, oh. uh when I was uh let me see, I was about hmm, he was about hmm, about fifteen years old. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, and uh, my sisters, they went to different schools because um, they was, see, my brother was, uh, he was next to the oldest girl, maybe, uh, and L uh, let me say, uh, Louise, it's sort of tough me to remember, but yeah. I could remember some of it, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, in your, in those days uh, at grammar school, mm -hmm. Is there anything else that sticks out of your mind other than the Evans? Yes, well, um, I learned how to, uh, well, I mean, in grammar school, I learned how to play ball and mm -hmm. football, baseball, just things like that. And 
that was this job at coming up, you know. I, I enjoyed it. You know? And then I did a lot of trouble a lot of time, you know, with mm -hmm. the girls, you know, after I started growing up, you know. And um, they would tell us, I'm going to tell you, say this, I'm going to tell you. And uh, um, just, you know, but I, I enjoyed it. You know, coming up, I didn't get any, uh, any fights or anything. Uh, unless it's rock battle, you know, we right. get out of school, some of the boys, you know, hey man, this is rock battle. I, I think I can throw hard at the other fellow. Knives and guns, we wouldn't worry about that. You know, no days. Right, that's right. It's a different day. From that. It's a different day, it's all together. Yeah. And uh, in your in your um, days at um, the elementary school or the mm -hmm. grammar school, mm -hmm. how did you get back and forth from school, from home to school? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that. Uh, yeah, I rode a bus. Uh, after I, I lived to grammar, grammar to school. grammar school, grammar yeah. school, uh, get a cab, taxi. Mm -hmm. Cause my mother would go in a lot of time, and so my sister would go sometimes to, mm -hmm. to grammar school. With me. How far was it from you? See about all right. It's about mm -hmm. it was at least 15, 15 miles of, of from, where I lived. from grammar school to where you yeah, lived. Exactly. Is that right? That's right. Uh, what was the name of the school? It was a uh, Tamp Junior High. It was I'm uh, not Tamp Junior High. Tamp Grammar. But I'm talking about. Is Key Tony, you had to go through Key Tony, which was about eight or nine miles, and then you go about three or four more miles, and then you get the Tan Grammar School. Mm -hmm. They had it all in big stuff like that. Is that right? So, but they didn't have buses that you had no, to No, they didn't have buses. Home. And, 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 and your own transportation, and that's something, you know, my, my, my father in there, mm -hmm. he bought me a car, they don't have to go to high school. Right. But uh, at that time, I had to get a taxi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Were there other children from your neighborhood that went to uh, uh, Tans? Yes, yeah. sure. Uh -huh. uh, uh, the Joneses and the Scots, yeah, quite a bit. But of it was it was too far distance for you to walk. That's yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh, junior high school, were you close to the home then? Ah, uh, no, let me see. What was that? You still couldn't walk to school. Oh, no, no. I couldn't. How did you get get there? Was the same way? Yes, sir. Well, that's right. I, I would uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, um, the um, must, uh, place nature. Mm -hmm. they, uh, some of their parents had uh, uh, friends. I mean, say, uh, relatives had cars. Some of them. Right. I would get a ride with them, mm -hmm. and then. Um, I did it until I finished uh, Hooper City, and then my mm -hmm. dad bought me a car. Uh -huh. So when you went to Hooper City High School, you, you still didn't have a bus. You never did ride the bus to school. No, I, I no, I, I didn't ride the bus to school. I ride Hooper City. Mm -hmm. So you always had to get your own transportation. Own transportation. Mm -hmm. At that time, right. Did. right. But later on, I think it got you did get buses now. Right. Now, uh, Hoop City was in the county, right? Yes, the county school. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. right. What do you remember about Hoop City? Oh, like a plantation to me. Uh, uh, just a green, big old place, a lot of fields, corn, mm -hmm. vegetables and things, and all the watermelon things. I used to go through man's yard and get us watermelon, eat it, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. it, was just a, it was just a large place with a lot of uh, old dilapidated houses and things. But the people so friendly at night, you know, mm -hmm. I just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. What about the school itself? Oh, the school was just fabulous. Uh, I just love the school. Um, I love the, um, the men and the women. Because we had uh, Mr. Boynes, he was the principal. And uh, uh, Ms. Kellen, uh, what was her name? Ms. Evans. How did I say that? Ms. Kellen. Mm -hmm. She was uh, a teacher too. Mm -hmm. And she would get on me all the time, you know, I guess. Well, a lot of the boys did, you know. These little, like, you made them like your shoes. They had that little clamp there. Yes, sir. And we put some milk. Oh, yeah. You know, sit next to the girl. Mm -hmm. And they'd tell the other teacher, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. I said, I ain't looking at you. I said, that mirror just made the shoes look better. 
So I guess yes. This two, this two before. Yes, yes, yeah, that was it. Yeah, well, that was still a, uh, a tactic that we use later on. Like That's if right. you got to pass them down to it. That's right. It's about it. It's about it. Yes. <laughs> um, what was it like growing up in Charing City? What was your neighborhood like? My neighborhood was, um, I don't know, but I, don't, I can tell you this. Any, any, any of the older people, they, they, they would put you behind if, if they catch you in something, uh, uh, needed it, needed that. And uh, they would, they would scare you there because they said, well, I'm going to tell your mother, I'm going to tell Sarah, you know. I said, please don't tell mom, you know, because I know there'd be another woman, you know. And she they didn't beat you, but they would keep us paying. We were staying, you know. Right. And um, um, I just enjoyed it. But when I was um, when I was coming up in grammar school, uh, my daddy had a old piano, and I learned how to play uh, 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 the head go around the Mary Bush, all that kind of stuff. Until he just grew up in, you know. Mm -hmm. And so after I got before I left, they had a little son down there at the grammar school, you know. That's when they fell some said, uh, her name was, um, what was her name? Mm -hmm. But she would, she, she would tell me, she, she, you know, she said, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give you a award because you, if you are really good, you're gonna be better than that. And she would, she was working on that piano, you know. And then after a while, you know, when they started giving little concerts, and they would put me in a little toy in there where I could, Marching, doing something, you know, different things. Like so you, you were a musician. I yeah, I well, see, even, even when I was small. Did you do that in high school? Did you play piano? I sure at, did. At City? I sure yeah. did. I played Hope City. I played a lot of times. So I played solos and, and and I played. In fact, I played for school, uh, uh, school uh, high school about me to the school choir. Mm. Yeah, yeah, about so, fifteen to twenty. So you were playing in the assembly program. That's right. Did you play in your church as well? Oh yes, yes, yes. I played the first church I played for. It was Holiness Church, and they had nothing but a piano and a drum. And they would be on that drum, and I'd be beating on that piano. You know what I mean? But um, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And then later on, <clears throat> um, they got um, rid of the, uh, the drums. No, they get rid of it. But a Miller, a man came there, would play the guitar. Mm. And I would play along with him. He said, Man, you're good, you're a good boy, you're gonna be good, boy, you're good, you know. Mm -hmm. And that just gave me uh, maybe a good you know? Yeah, that's right. What was your most memorable occasion to play? Yeah. All right. My most memorable occasion to play, <coughs> they gave a little concert. And uh, this person, they was older than me. But they couldn't get the um, they couldn't get the songs out like uh, uh, they were supposed to. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, see, I didn't hit it, and at that time I didn't know in any music at all. But if I hit it, hear hit your voice, I would keep on to like hit that key that put your voice in. I started playing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But but until I in, in, in Lewis Nash, he's dead now. But now he helped me a lot too. Now he, he knew music backward, you know. And Who was he? Now was he a teacher at the school? No, he was, he wasn't a teacher. He was a um, he was a musician when I first met him. But he was a he gave a lot of people a lot, a lot of uh, people's lessons. You know, mm -hmm. I see. Also, he gave uh, was juniors and what he would give you know older you know older people mm -hmm. give them lessons and things. But he, so that's who you learned. You learned about Lewis Nash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. you got he performed a group. Uh, one of the fellows in there was named uh, uh, Edward Gay, and we called it the Gay Harmonies. Mm -hmm. And so we just started from there, and mm -hmm. just kept on going. And so that's when we got a chance to go to, um, I remember, uh, King's Church. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which one? In Atlanta or Montgomery? In Montgomery. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dexter. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Um, as you uh, went through high school, mm -hmm. Uh, you evidently were very active with your music at that time. That's right. Um, did you have the occasion to to go from to different churches to play? Yes, I did. Uh, I did. Mm -hmm. I really did. I had 
the evening for me to get them because um, and later on, you know, people would call, you know, and tell them, could I do this and I could do that? And they came to program to church and I just made this group in. What did you do after high school? Well, after high school, um, oh, let me see what I did. I, I didn't go to college. I wanted to go. Uh, at that time, um, I don't think it was able. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't high like it is now. But um, but it was for that time. Yeah, at that time, that's right. And so, uh, um, but I was. Uh, I've, I've always been. Uh, she called me lazy now, but why do? But I've always been sort of. When my, when my people tell me to do something, I do it. You know what I mean? And uh, um, so um, it was. Uh, it was, it was, it was, I don't know thing I can say about school, high school, um, it's just it's better than grammar school, but, but I enjoyed both of them, really I did. Mm-hmm. Uh, I enjoyed, um, and when, I, when, when, when people tell me that I could play, the teachers are, either uh, some of the students said, Mr. Young, no, Johnny, I'll you play, um, why don't you do so and so and so and so. I said, I don't know, I said, you got the money? You know, we are going to be here, you know. Right. <laughs> No, I ain't got no money. Oh, okay, I'll do it this time. Next time he has some money. <laughs> but I enjoy it. Well, what year did you finish? Let uh, me see. He goes back. What year was that? Since 1940. Uh, uh, I think it's about 40, about 43. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that was during the time of the war. Did you go to Ruzer? Yeah. How, how old were you? Was it right after? Oh, this? wait a minute, hold it. Let me get straight now. I went to military in, a, um, in about, it's in the 30s when I finished. Okay. Yeah, in the 30s. Because I went to military and I stayed in there three years. You left three years? Yeah. Well, when you, when you left uh, going to the military, were you, uh, you were out of school? Yeah. Were you working at the time? Yeah. And you were called? I, sure. you, I was and I'm assuming you were drafted. Were yeah, drafted? I was drafted. Mm-hmm. Where were you working? Stop. You were working in Stop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was an inspector. I was an inspector. And how long had you been there? Do you remember? Mm-hmm. I hadn't been there too long, but uh, when he told me that uh, uh, when I got out, that my job would be waiting on me, you know. Mm-hmm. But, um, and it was, because I wanted to. Be a postman. I want to do this. I want to do that. But mm-hmm. yeah. well, when you when you then left here, where did you go to basic training? Uh, um, basic training was in uh, uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Mm-hmm. That's where I took my basic. Is that right? Really? And where did you go after basic? Uh, I went to um, uh, uh, Manila. To Manila, mm-hmm. but you were out in the, in the That's Pacific. That's right. Uh, were you in the, in the Army? Navy. In the Navy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. My father was in the Navy as well. Yeah, in the Navy. He, and he was in, in the Pacific. Yes, I was. Yeah. Um, what was that transition like coming from Birmingham, or Tarrant City, Alabama, mm-hmm. going into the military? Tell me, what was that, what was that like? Boy. Uh, it was uh, it was sad to me because I didn't want to go, you know. But after I got in there, you, you didn't ask me that, but, but after I got in there, I enjoyed it. I, I, I'm glad I went. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I, I didn't want to go because uh, I just didn't want to go. Hmm. What, what did you enjoy about huh? what, what did you enjoy? What, sure. what was it that you enjoyed? Uh, enjoyed but, uh, uh, um, I enjoyed the marching. Enjoyed the food because they had some good food. Because a lot of our um, fellow said, uh, within the army, they said, Man, we don't have the food like this, you know. And um, but uh, and I tell you what, this I enjoyed. I enjoyed making my bed, you know. I didn't a little cotton bed, mm-hmm. get the food and things, but I had a lawn, but I just enjoyed it. I had, I, a lot of the fellows, uh, I got yeah, that you know, um, room to know them. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we had a lot in common because some of the fellows, well, three of them from Alabama, 
where from Georgia, Jim Steve, different places like that. Right. Right. Did you spend much time uh, on on board a ship? That's where I spent all my time. What kind of ship was it? USS Hansford uh, ship was a transport ship. Okay. 106, I never forget it. Mm -hmm. And That's what right. was your job? Tra uh, uh, well, my job, my job at the time, I was, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I would sue the officers. I'm talking about me, you know. Third so food. Take, yeah, so the food. Mm -hmm. So the office. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the office, you know, they was nice, you know, mm -hmm. give you a little tip, you know. Right. And you was good on you know, this time. Were you ever in any um, uh, hostilities? Were you in the war? Oh, so, uh, was that, were you in the war with that ship? Yeah, uh, one time. Uh, uh, what would you call it? Uh, uh, about, hmm, about, you said it was three, but. I didn't see it with two, but I, I was trying to hide, you know. It was what you call uh, uh, it. was shooting. You could see the bullet, from, you know, from the plane. From, from the plane, from the plane, yeah, right. right. You could see it. But we were, you know, mm -hmm. but we didn't get, um, and we got hit, you know, we didn't win enough to uh, mm -hmm. sink the ship. Right. But the planes, uh, I don't know what the job did either, too, but we, I did see it. You mm -hmm. see, and it sort of scared me, too. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of more though was scared. So that happened to you twice, was that? Twice. Once mm -hmm. or twice. That's right, right. twice. Mm -hmm. And what was Manila like? Oh boy. It was spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I would have mean I got a chance to see those ladies doing this. Mm -hmm. They were doing gray skates and, and it was nice, it was nice. Um until wait a minute, I think it is or when um uh, uh, they had some uh, what you call them, rednecks in there, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I think they yeah, know us a, a little, but uh, we blacks, we stood, to, we stood together, you know? And uh, they would, uh, you know, they say, well, you got to leave here because we, 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 we came in before y'all did. And just by that time, about six, seven dark black were coming there, so no, they ain't going nowhere. That was, was, this, this, was this that was in town. Yeah, that, 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 was, uh, that, was in, uh, that was in Manila. Mm -hmm. I was in Manila, and um, and, and Annie Weetal, a place called Annie Weetal, and it was nice, but you had to pull off your shoes before you go in uh, the house, you know. Mm -hmm. And they had they had to get religious, they had uh, uh, they had given the Bible, teaching the Bible, mm -hmm. and they, but you had to pull off your shoes. But uh, it was it was just. Was it was, this where the guys came and told you that they were there first? That's right. In the in the uh, at, at, at the church, in the, the church, church was, was not far from the church mm -hmm. was a house where they had prostitutes, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's what they was there for. Mm -hmm. But we, I didn't know anything about the prostitutes at, at that time, you know, because mm -hmm. of, uh, they had a cross hanging on. But it was about it was it wasn't a block away. Mm -hmm. That's when and they had uh, had them lined up, they had white, black, Japanese, China, you know, and. Uh, and they have off limits, different places. Mm -hmm. You couldn't go off limits because they afraid you take some kind of disease or something like that and bring it back. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. well, were you were there ever any, any difficulties with those rednecks as you call them? Yeah, um, they it was it was quite a few fights, but it was fair fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the reason why um, I knew at the back of them be some good fighters because they would lay it down and just take off them things, hats and things, and get together. Mm -hmm. But I've never been a great big guy, you know. I've been just, I was in my 140, 130 mm -hmm. bitches. And after, before I, when I come back to stay, I'm to pick it up. Mm -hmm. uh, Did you ever utilize your musical talents while you were in service? I played for, I played for the, Chaplain, and I played for um, uh, Sunday school mm -hmm. because we used to go to Sunday school and have um, have service on the ship. Mm -hmm. um, on that, it was a large transport. We could swim, had a place for you to swim, and you know do different things on that ship. Mm -hmm. So um, it was it was enjoyable. Did you consider uh, making the Navy a career? You know what? I, I thought about maybe looking at it. I thought about that a long time ago. Uh, because uh, 
they determine what, what, what would happen if we, you know, if I go to the Navy and did make career, and I saw those officers, those uniforms that were so good, and I had them little white thing, you know, the white suits, and I, but I, I went to think, I said, no. I said, I never beat my balls if I, if I get in here, because I said, you know, I, I never can, you know, I never can tell, uh, tell because when I, when I was back here, you know, they had some, uh, uh, before I left, I saw some uh, dark uh, uh, people, black people, uh, homeless, you know, and, and so, and, and I like that, what you do and all that kind of stuff, but I said, now if I get to make this career, I said, I don't know, I don't know, I said, it's going to be hard for me. To, to get myself into a position where I can, uh, can be like them, you know. I don't want to think of the whole thing. But, um, I, 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 it dropped my mind. So but I did have some friends that, that they did. Um, they came out captains and, and lieutenants. And I was a steward, uh, third class. And then when I got out, I was steward first class. The next was going to be an uh, officer, uh, small wow. officer. Well, when you returned to Birmingham, what was that experience like? Now it was, um, you know, I, I had a. Uh, it was uh, when I turned returned to Birmingham. It was a mess because, uh, um, you know, you you've been in it, been in the service and all that kind of stuff, and, and you you know, we will take no mess from them, you know, and uh, it was it was all right because I knew how you know. I knew how much change I had, you know, with whites here. You know, at that time, you didn't have no change at all because uh, it's, it's, it's rough now, but it was rough at then. Uh, but uh, when we were coming on back home, it was about uh, six or seven whites. And uh, well, they just eating me up. And eating all the black stuff, the white soldiers, the white sailors and things. But when we got ready, when we hit Birmingham, they they they, they got off on us. They went to the they they, they, they people, you know. They said, no, no, no. I said, you know, hey man, he you turned his head, you know. So these said, were guys that you had known and yeah, served. all and it, 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 he showed me in the service. Mm -hmm. But Lord, when they come back, he would turn the head and all that kind of stuff, you know. He was sitting, once you sit down to him and all that kind of stuff. But which is they didn't make us sound different, and they make me know. But I just show you that, I said, I just show you what, 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 what the whites can do. And it's still, you know, it's like that now. Mm -hmm. And so, but it's not as, quite as bad, I don't get it, but it, 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 when, you, when you got that, uh, what you call it, uh, you call it a uh, crack of blue in you, you just got it in you. So. Mm -hmm. Well, when you, when you returned, uh, you went back to stop. Yeah, when I returned, I, I wanted to go to, uh, I wanted to be a pole for you know. Some of the guys tell me how they beat would be hurt and all that kind of stuff. And I want to go to, uh, I wanted to really want to go to this, uh, this, this, uh, this hospital where you might know, have service, you know, men. Mm -hmm. And I, when I saw them, they had to go back there and clean them back behind, you know, VA. Yeah, VA, actually. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, I don't think I like that. You know, I said, I think I better go back to stock. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. And so I went on back to stock. So how long did you work for stock? 35 years. 35 years. Retired from That's right. Well, when you when you came back to Birmingham, uh, this probably the mid forties. Um, mm -hmm. What was Birmingham like? What was Birmingham like in relationship to to race relations? Well, I tell you, um, you could, you could pick them. You could find some here we are, and you could find the most of them. They couldn't stand your shot, you know, they, 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 you want to hear. But it was some good ones. It was some good ones because uh, uh, I got in trouble a lot of time with a car, you know. And the only way I got some help was, you know, I called them crackers. I'm like, hey, what, what's wrong? Can I help you? I said, so, 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 so. I, I, yeah, I do that for you. And I tried to get money with the you know. So, Yes, sir, no good. Did you have any problems? Did you ever have any problems on your job? Uh, Racial problems. Well, you know, they had, uh, they, when I went back to the job, you know, they still had, uh, when I first went in, 
when I first went back, I don't know, mm -hmm. after I got a knee. Mm -hmm. Still, they did a uh, white and white and color oh, sign because he had them sign, mm -hmm. and uh, and and they had a they had a bad house. It was on one side and I was on the other. But see, when he broke it up, he got it, 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 it got all right, you know. After after he uh, unsegregated them, uh, it was bad. Especially in 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 eating. eating. They used to have a place for them where to eat, cafeteria. We, it's both is a YCMC, YMCA, but it was still white in color. Right. But uh, after they broke that up, well, uh, cause a lot of those crackers they went to bring it home when they when they uh, got those uh, hydrants and things. Um, where you can drink, you know, water, mm -hmm. where you got colored in white color, yeah. After they uncertified them, you know, those do crackers, what you bring, you know, the green people, thomas ball or jewels. They ice. bring their own water yeah, rather so than use the yeah, thermos. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll come up with sure. you. You remember Brown versus Board of Education decision and the Montgomery bus boycott. In 1956, the um, state of Alabama outlawed the operation of the NACP in the state, and Fred Shawsworth and some other ministers started the Alabama Christian oh, Movement yes. Human Rights. Yes, Were you around at that time? I sure was. Were you involved with the, the movement when it first started? When it, when, it, when it first started? Yes, sir. Not when it first started, but later on, I said, um, what would all that leave? Because, uh, um, Red picked me up. Uh, he used to hear like he sing and play. But uh, after uh, after this, um, after the, uh, I bought all these things, and we're going to leave meetings every Monday night. We go every Monday night. God, the Reverend God, and Michelle uh, Wood, and a lot of those big boys, you know. Um, they would. You know, those meetings. Yeah. You, you're speaking of the, the mass meetings. Mass meetings. What were the mass meetings like? Ooh. Can you just, how would you describe a mass it, meeting? A mass meeting, but it, 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 it was a mass meeting when they said that it was large. I'm talking about it was a lot of people there. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happened in the, in the meetings? Well, they, they were there, some of, it was a lot of disagreement and a lot of agreements, you know, just like it is anything else. But uh, uh, when, uh, when they got this, uh, when they bombed it, you know, when they, uh, they bombed uh, Shuttleworth Church or in Cottonsville, right? Uh, they um, that 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 went to that went to get more attention because uh, they know that then that they was kind of up for, for, for they were up for business, you know. They were no playing with you. They were trying to, you know. Mm -hmm. So. Um, but we had so much uh, enjoyment, and, 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 and the most of us determined not to give up. We're going to keep on. Uh, and that's really why when I read about these churches that they might have and all that kind of stuff, these black churches, but these people are determined to go on. And, and, and I noticed this a lot of fighting. Johnny. Mm -hmm. Johnny is black. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, now I'm talking about. Uh, uh, they've given all this money, had the church built back. No, when it comes to it. things are changing, but it just it it it's 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 it well it well it's, it's a phase of progress now, but back then real slow, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's it's getting better all the time. Yeah. What was your um, basic activity in the movement? What did you what, what was your contribution? What did you basically do? Well, uh, what 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 uh, what I basically do? What I basically did rather was. Um, uh, Nathan Lee and I, it was two of us, Carlton wasn't in there. Mm. Carlton Reese. Yeah, Carlton. He, 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 wasn't, he wasn't playing. Yeah, what I mean, he was playing, but he wasn't, he wasn't, he didn't, he didn't participate in the movement because he had three brothers that were real good too, you know, Ditto uh, and so on. But um, when he did get it there, it was, it was real good. But, um, but most of the things that uh, I did was Trying to get these different songs, these new freedom songs, and 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 uh, Nathan Lee and I, we would, you know, we compare these songs, you know, so let's go sing uh, um, all these church songs so much. Let's get some freedom songs. We did a lot of that. Mm -hmm. 
Did you write any of the songs? I, I wrote about two. Mm -hmm. Which ones? Do you remember what they were? Oh, uh, uh, right? I've got it home, mm -hmm. but I can't remember. Yeah. But, 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 but we were singing, they were singing. Mm -hmm. and, and it was good, it was good. And they thought that he was, a, he was, a, he was a no, no, it was, they did all okay. mm -hmm. And I was pretty good with that piano, you know. We were, we were, we were good we were all right, good team. Um, did you ever participate in the demonstrations? I would participate by two. By two. I really did. Mm -hmm. By two. Demonstrations. What, what was that like? It was, it was, it was, it was, it was uh, in fact, it was, uh, I didn't think of nothing to it at first, but then, it, it, you know, it proved to be nice, you know. But, uh, you know how some of us talk, you know, like you said, uh, those leaders, you know, some of them in there was, you know, they had no guts, you know, because they were bagged down too much, you know, it was like that. But then they, when Fred came and, and started, the thing went to ride, and, 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 and you know, they, they did. I remember when they beat him real good. At Phillips High School? Yeah, I remember that. They hooked him good, but he didn't give up. And, and uh, but uh, his buddy, I won't call no name, he's an institute. Uh, he was, oh, he said it in church. He yeah. said it in church. He said, uh, you know, he, he couldn't do that like Fred. Call Fred's name. I was, you know, he saw how Fred was, how did he beat him up? You know? mm -hmm. He said, you couldn't take that. He said, yeah. he said, well, uh, he was right there with him. I ran there with him. Right there with him. But who was that? Uh, <laughs> he ran over. Okay. He's, He's talking about that himself. So. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about it. Yeah, he talks about that. Fred talks about it every time he comes. Yeah, back. Fred knew him too. Right. Fred didn't know him. Fred knew what you mm -hmm. that Fred was a man, but he was a man in, you know, he had his mind made up and he wasn't afraid of his white people. Mm -hmm. But to do blacks, you know, I guess it's Fred. Yeah. Big Were you ever arrested? No, no one. My buddy was. Uh, uh Nathan Lee, he was arrested. And, Gay, I think Gay said he was arrested. I think Gay said he was arrested. He's a dean about the church. But I didn't, I didn't really get arrested. But my daughter, Betty, we were looking for. <laughs> we remember Betty calls her, Betty, do the lady where she at? And Betty, on uh, uh, the three or four more, uh, they went to Hayes High School. Mm -hmm. Got them, put them in, put them in the, in the brig, I call it. But, uh, and, and they had a, Betty's friend, Anna, called her Anna. They was the like sisters. But uh, uh, this, this, uh, this, uh, this, this, this God lady, white mom, he, she would tell him, shut up your mouth, don't say nothing else. And say, uh, Betty said, Anna said, wait a minute, you're not my mom. I'm gonna talk, we gonna talk now. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't no prisoner, you know. And so, uh, 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 and this gave it, I said, Betty, I said, look, I said, now, I'm, glad, I'm glad you went, and, and came, I'm glad you got out. But now look, please don't don't do that. I say, I say you worse to them. I didn't know what it happened to you. He said, Dad, well, I, I saw the rest of them getting written more and I just want to go too. And then and, and at that time I was playing in the movement too. I was playing for the movement. Right. And I guess he said, Well, my daddy, he played for the movement, so I didn't march. So they 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 probably they didn't treat me. They didn't treat me just the, the talk run, but they didn't whoop on right. hit them enough. Were there other members of their family that participated? In my family? Yes. No, uh, let's see. No, not no. Well, my brother, he was a he was a musician and a and a uh, uh, living drink. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have time to do it. Mm -hmm. But he was, you know what I mean? Because I took him to my church. Now you didn't have this, but I just never said it that he's mm -hmm. happened. Uh he would play so people just this 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 love is playing, but he he, he would play he was playing the to call it the Dylan music. And so I, our lady said, don't, don't your brother play? I said, sure. I couldn't play then. Mm -hmm. uh, I said, bring him right here. And, 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 and I want to, I want to hear him. And we're going to hire him. And he got in with the band and made it real. <laughs> he said, can you play Amazing Grace? He said, yeah. He went to play that Amazing Grace. He put a lot of grand jazz in it. Mm -hmm. said, no, I don't think we can do it like that. And so that was out. Mm -hmm. But now he was, he was, uh, he would, he had a band, he had about four piece band, uh, four pieces, drum, saxophone, trumpet, and what him. Was, what was the band called? 
Uh, uh, let's see, he, he told me before he died. He said, he said, I didn't know it. And he he played piano. He played the piano. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he could play too. I I can touch it. Mm -hmm. See his music. Was, he put a lot of stuff in it. He was jazzing. Mm -hmm. But I just played it like it was on that on that paper. Mm -hmm. But I tried to play it, you know, where I didn't enjoy it. But I could I could tell you he was really good. What would you think would, would have been the most important contributions of the movement to Birmingham? Well, I think that to, to, uh, to my to my um, to my um, if, uh, it would be um, when they um, start to take these uh, sign of these things. Signs, you know, let's say, color and yeah, color and white, and, and, and to stop it. They stop it. Uh, Black from going around the back all the time, and he's spending the money to like the white, but he had to go around the back. He stopped that. I know that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, um, I think that was good. And um, well, he started to stand it up more. We're no, you know, we're no uh, fighting and physically, mm -hmm. but they went to uh, after they, you know they started going to school, mm -hmm. started to learn, and he's going to college. A lot of them going. Uh, when he started getting the degrees and things, he went to man with those fights. And but it, 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 it they, 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 you see that? It's all right. It's in there, okay. But uh, I think when they stopped so much of this, um, well, segregation is still now, but I know, but when they, when they cut down, what they were going to take, they were going to do it, we can go down the back. And uh, I think that's the best thing ever happened. When that, when, when that rose apart, and when she showed she was chewing, they read about that. And she wasn't getting up that white man. Mm -hmm. And so um, they grew up, and a lot of them, you're not going to do it either. Mm -hmm. And when Cain, he got it all. He said, uh, he for the white and the blacks and for the mankind, period. And he said, he not, uh, a lot of them thought that, just like in that one, he said, you know, they're fighting mm. and shooting each other and having this, this wall and thing around right here with, you, with each other, white and black, you know. Because we, we couldn't, we, we couldn't, we could match up with them in ammunition because, you know, they sold us ammunition. Mm. But the man left a big mark and, and, and so they grew up a lot of, mm. a lot of I think that that's a big help about that. King, King and well, I first say Chuzzlewood. Mm -hmm. I can remember him good. In other words, when uh, he was, he heard that so much, kill that nigga, kill that nigga, kill that nigga. But he 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 had stood his ground, and uh, which a lot of them would have did it to scare them to death, because mm -hmm. nobody want to get. But he see he was determined, and it's like a. When Martin Luther King, see him been the promise, he seen the promised land and all that. And and and, uh, and after he got killed, that gave that gave blacks more than uh, uh, not only in Birmingham, I know I mean so not only uh, all, all over the United States, but all in Birmingham too, when he got killed. Because it, it was a mess right there, you know, they went to right in Alabama, you know, they went to money up these buildings and things. It was even a mess. Mm -hmm. So I think it's bad to say it, it had to come to that. But uh, after that, that's all the quiet thing that cooled down. Mm -hmm. Cooled these crackers down. That's right. But, Ms. Trey, I want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule. Thank you. been very helpful. And uh, I know with the, the things that you've experienced, oh, yes. uh, you have a lot to, to share with, with younger folk. That you need a lot. Oh yes, Mr. Truth. Mr. Truth. I want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule. Okay, I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed. I'm so glad that my wife went with me.